I have seen the 2005 version of Yours, Mine and Ours, but I have to say, I think the 1968 version is significantly better. Now, the originals usually are, but I'm also very fond of films from the early 21st century. But Yours, Mine and Ours, 1968, is so chaotic and so fun. This was directed by Melville, Melville Shavelson and um, with story from Bob Carroll Jr. and Madeleine Davis. And, of course, stars the fantastic Lucille Ball and Henry Fonda. And the narrative for this is just ludicrous, and it calls for some absolutely sensational situations. So, IMDb says the following. A widower with ten children falls for a widow with eight, and they must decide about forming a huge, unconventional family. So, they decide to move in together with these eighteen children. And... What's What becomes very quickly apparent is that they're very different sets of children. So Frank Beardsley, who is played by Henry Fonda, is very regimented. His children are clean-cut, straight-laced. They do everything by the clock. Helen North's children, which is played by Lucille Ball, have a lot more, I guess, slack in life. So there are a lot of contrasts very quickly. There are some like-for-like like children. For example, you've got the eldest teenagers on both sides. You've got the youngest ones on both sides. But there's, all, there's also a mixed bag of personalities there. And a lot of the children bring their own unique, fun characteristics to it. And this really is absolutely insane, trying to keep up with everybody's names. I could not name all of the children if you asked me to. I mean, I have them up on IMDb in front of me, but I couldn't name them just from watching it. But I think it is relatively easy, though, to keep track of whose children is whose because they are distinct enough, and, and that obviously leads to a lot, of, a, a lot of arguing and a lot of contrast. The film was nominated for two Golden Globes, which is always a sign of quality. It was nominated for Best Motion Picture, and Lucille Ball was also nominated for Best Actress, obviously it unfortunately did not win either, but that's not really a sign of quality. The one, it was up against a lot of strong contenders, including Funny Girl, um, The Odd Couple, which I haven't heard of, Finian's Rainbow, and the winner, which was Oliver, because the category is comedy or musical. Nevertheless, it is an absolutely brilliant film. If you've seen the 2005 version, I absolutely recommend this one to you, assuming you liked the 2005 version. Because for me, it's just... It's even better. It's so much better than the 2005 version. If you haven't seen that version, still give it a go. It's good fun. It's ludicrous. It's a bit insane. Lucille Ball particularly gives a fantastic performance. The children are great. It's good fun. Family-friendly full of joy, a little bit sentimental at times. You know, there is a, if there are a few poignant moments in it. It's a film that will withstand the test of time and I thoroughly recommend it.